this is priya and welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will start our start series where we will try to discuss important properties and the aspects which is required to have a understanding of data science concepts right so basically here i am starting the start series for data science specifically so by saying that we will not go in that much advanced level but whatsoever things are required in order to uh, get into the industry of data science and whatsoever concepts are required while building the projects of data science those concepts i'll try to cover up in this particular playlist right so let's get started with the very first understanding of what do we mean by statistics let's get started so here if you will observe whenever we are talking about a statistics it's the science from learning from the data meaning that suppose a data set is given to you now what you have to find out is the analysis on top of that what learning you can capture from that that particular data by maybe calculating the mean median average or something like that right mode there are so many aspects in the stats that we have so what we want in a nutshell we, what we want to do here we want to learn from the data and this is the science or the art which we call as a stats right now what are the steps required to learn from the data so the very first step is given a situation firstly we have to define the problem statement right what's the problem statement that you are trying to solve for example let me take one simple example suppose i want to detect that whether a person is diabetes or not diabetic or not right that's a use case where i have simply defined what's my problem statement what's my objective right the very first thing defining the problem the second thing is according to that we need to collect the data right which server use case you want to solve for that you need to collect the data you need to that then only you will be able to learn that right now after collecting the data you need to summarize that data how the summarization will done just like a uh, few minutes back i told you some parameters like mean median mode and there are so many parameters like count of the values what is the maximum value what is the minimum value what is skewness what is kurtosis there are so many things there are so many parameters and stats with the help of which i can summarize the data in the next upcoming videos you will see that i am not only teaching here the uh, theoretical concepts but i'll try to show you by practically taking some data set and will try to do the implementation with respect to the stats concept that okay this is where the summarization is done this is where when we will study about outliers this is where the outliers are done practically with the help of python programming language by taking some data set we will try to analyze those aspects but as this is our very first session so here we just need to understand that what stats all about right and the last important part is now i know what is problem statement now i have collected the data summarizing the data and last important point is that after doing all these stuffs we need to analyze that we need to interpret that analysis meaning that okay if this is the data that we have is there any null values or not is there any outliers present in the data or not what do we mean by outliers any exceptional value out of the way for example i will uh, give you one problem statement i'll say that do a survey that a range between 25 to 30 means the youngsters what is their salary in india as a data scientist position now you did a survey and you came to know that some people are earning 50k per month whereas some people are earning 1k per month at max they are earning 1.5k if they are working in very big uh, companies but then there comes a person who is earning 1 cr per month 1 cr per month now when you will calculate the average of that particular survey your average is shifted a lot why because that 1 cr is an outlier out of the given values that we have that is something which is an outlier exceptional values out of, out of the way so here we need to analyze the data completely well that is there any such kind of outliers or outliers are there or not then we need to accordingly interpret the data and 
we have a good communication skills so that we will be able to then practically communicate the results as well this is the something which we called as the steps which is required to learn from data something which is we called as a statistics right now in the next upcoming video what we will try to understand we have understood that we need to collect the data now we will see that what are the strategies required to collect the data right there is something which we call as population and sample what is the meaning of population what is the meaning of sample what are the different kinds of sampling techniques that we have a very very important part which we will try to discuss in our next upcoming part of the video i hope that you will be easily able to understand so far what is the meaning of statistics right in this video the objective is to just give you the introduction part of the same now in the next particular video the objective is to discuss about the uh, way the approach to collect the data where we will start with the very first definition of population versus the sample this can be asked from you in an interview as well very basic question but it can give you a very good idea to the interviewer that whether a person is good with fundamentals or not right with this i would like to end this particular video do let me know in the comment section that uh, whether you like this video or not and uh, i'll see you all in my next next upcoming video where now i will discuss about the sample and the population and what are the different kinds of sampling techniques that we have at what scenarios what sampling technique do we use right happy learning to all bye bye see you and take care